Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have another linear systems problem. And here we're given a transfer function h of s, and we're told that it's excited by a unit step function. And we're asked to determine y of s, so in the Laplace domain, when h of s is 1 over s plus 3 squared. And this is a multiple choice question. We have uh, one of four different possibilities here, and it's going to be one of these four. So, as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So, to solve this, we need to know that for any LTI system, linear time invariant, the output y of s in the Laplace domain is equal to h of s times the input x of s. If we were given this in the time domain, then we would do a convolution integral. But because we have it in the Laplace domain, we simply just multiply them together. And we're given that h of s is 1 over s plus 3 squared. So if we go to the FE handbook, here on page 34, we have the Laplace transform table again. And here is the unit step function, u of t, at time is equal to 0, and its Laplace transform is 1 over s. So that's what we're going to use. 1 over s. So that gives us, when we multiply them together, 1 over s, s plus 3 squared. And we have to turn that fraction into one of these four choices that we have here. And to do that, we're going to do, once again, partial fractions. So this is going to be a partial fraction expansion. So partial fractions. So I'm going to write the fraction here that we want to expand. 1 over s times s plus 3 squared, and that's going to be equal to some alpha over s plus some constant beta over s plus 3 plus some other constant gamma over s plus 3 squared. And what we want to do is we want to try to solve and try to find these, these constants, alpha, beta, and gamma. And the way we would do that is by multiplying both sides by the denominator here. And so when we do that here, s, s plus 3 squared, and then we multiply each of these individual terms by that, by that denominator, Okay, like so. And then it cancels out here, so we end up with simply 1 on the left-hand side. And then you got alpha over s times this s times s plus 3 squared. The s's cancel out, giving us alpha plus 3 squared. And then we do the same thing for the beta term, which gives us s, s plus 3. And then the gamma term, lastly, which is just s. And now what we're going to do is we're going to expand this. So in order to expand the alpha term, Remember that a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And so we're going to expand that out. So 1 is equal to alpha times, let's see what we have, s squared plus 2 times s times 3 is 6s 
plus 3 squared is 9. And then for the beta term, we just distribute the s. So s squared plus 3s. And lastly, gamma s. Next, we distribute the alpha, the beta, and the gamma. So that would be s squared plus 6s plus 9 gamma. Distribute the beta. Beta s squared plus 3 beta s plus gamma s. So now we want to group these terms, group the s squared terms and the s terms here. And lastly, we have just the, the regular constants. So when we group them, we get that alpha plus beta s squared multiplied by s squared plus grouping now the s terms we get 6 alpha plus 3 beta plus gamma s and the last term is 9 alpha. So now from here we know that the left side of this equation on the 1 has no s squared term. So that, that states that alpha plus beta is equal to 0 and also it has no s terms so 6 alpha plus 3 beta plus alpha also equals to 0. But we do know that 9 alpha is equal to 1. It's the only constant on the left and the only constant on the right. So we can solve for alpha by knowing that 9 alpha is equal to 1, and therefore alpha is equal to 1 over 9. And knowing that alpha is equal to 1 over 9, we can plug it into this equation here and solve for beta. So we know that alpha plus beta is equal to 0. So that means that alpha is equal to minus beta, which is equal to 1 9. So that gives us that beta is equal to minus 1 9. And now that we know alpha and beta, we can solve for gamma by plugging it into this equation here. And when you do it all out, you get that gamma is equal to negative one third. Now that we know alpha, beta, and gamma, so alpha is here, beta is here, gamma is here, we can take all that, bring it right back to the top, and plug it into our original equation, and finally expand this 1 over s times s plus 3 squared. So I'm going to erase all this and just write the constants that we just found. Okay, so here I've rewritten it. Alpha is 1 over 9, beta is minus 1 over 9, and gamma is minus 1 third. And so our expression, our fraction, ends up being 1 over 9 over s plus minus 1 over 9 over s plus 3 plus minus 1 over 3 over s plus 3 squared. And we can get rid of the minuses here and turn these pluses into minuses like so.
and we can factor out a 1 over 9. If we factor out a 1 over 9, we get 1 over s minus 1 over s plus 3 minus uh, 3 over s plus 3 squared. Right, because 1 over 9 times 3 gives us 1 third. And then if we look here on the left, that corresponds to A. So that's our answer. So there you have it. The answer is A. And this one was actually a little bit tricky. The partial fraction expansion included an extra term here. And we really have to know what is the proper way of expanding this in order to solve this problem. And this is probably something that um, I don't believe is in the handbook. And I think it's just something that um, you're just expected to know. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you can do some further reading and be able to solve more complicated partial fractions. But I think this is going to be the extent of, you know, in terms of difficulty for partial fractions. Again, you only have six minutes to solve this problem on the exam, so I don't think we'll give you anything more complicated than this denominator right here. So I think that that'll be, knowing this should be enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, please give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.